Well, in today's Five News Garden segment, we are back inside the greenhouses of Garden IQ and Johnson to help you get your garden started. All right, it's all about seeding today, and this yep. is how you actually start planting a garden. Mm -hmm. um, and you got some really interesting devices here to make this happen, but it starts here, goes to here, and it ends here. Exactly. So let's start with this. Yeah, so we've got a 72 cell plug tray right here that we start the seeds in. And so basically I got this nice little dimple board. That makes just, it easy. Just to put some holes in the, in the soil for us. So we'll just do that. It makes a hole in each cell. All right. And then right in the middle of it, too. right in the middle. Yeah. yeah, if you can get it lined up perfectly. And then I've got a little cedar right here, makes it a little easier instead of using your your fingers. And so we just put the seeds right in this little device. Okay. And so basically all you got to do is just go over. I try to get one seed per cell, but of course, sometimes it doesn't happen. <laughs> And you basically really? Just, so if you do more than one, it's okay? It's okay, yeah. Okay. So I try to get one, because then if I get more than one, I'll go through and pull the other one out, typically. Because we only want one plant per pot. Okay. And so basically, that is our first step in seeding our tomatoes. Okay. And then of course you fill the holes back And of out. course, yep. And then after when I'm done, I usually get some extra potting soil, like okay. this five gallon bucket, and just put it over the top and do something like that, and then we'll give it a little bit of water, water and okay. then we just wait for them to grow. Okay. And then that goes from this to this. Yep, and, and so you'll see some ready to go tomato starts over there that okay. need to be transplanted into our bigger four inch pots. And so this is the end result basically. Right. And so we've got another little nice handy tool to make a bigger hole. So we just go through, make a couple holes in there. And it's a matter of taking this out Yep. Just like this. Yep. And, you, and again, with the root system the way it is, you may want to break that yep, up a little bit. Yep, you can help bit. it break it up a little bit. And all you're doing is just... Push it right in there and basically ready to go. Maybe How easy just cover is the that? top. And so maybe just do a few more. See, I, even I can't ruin this. <laughs> exactly. How long is it from this to this? So this, once you put them in the, um, in the plug tray, they'll sprout in about seven days. And then we'll probably let them grow in there another two weeks or so. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. And you'll see those have been growing in there for a little bit longer. Um, and then once they get about up to that height, they're a little shorter. Um, we transplant them as fast as we can. And then at the same time, you're watering this quite often? Uh, yes, definitely okay. the small ones. And okay. of course, these you don't have to water quite as much. Um, I probably won't water them for a good three to four days. And then after this, you take them out and then you actually put them in your garden bed. Yep, and then that's what's a ready to go to sell plant. And we might tag it just like that. And then they're ready for retail and plant in people's gardens. Now I know we're gonna get some cold nights this week. Yes. Do you wanna do this after we get out of the cold nights? I would definitely wait. If you're, if you're able to wait and maybe plant some other stuff like some herbs or whatnot, or you've probably still got your cold crops in your bed, I would wait uh, at least till after this week or two because we are getting some cold nights and it could stunt the tomatoes. And then so next week when we go back to the garden, we're going to be taking some of these and putting them in and hopefully yep. it's warmer by then. Exactly. Yes, sir. All right. Let me try this one. Oh, let's see what happens. It came uh, see, right that's okay. Sometimes they don't get a, the whole plug out, but that's okay. Just put it a little deeper and it's good to go. All right. Next week we will be at the garden to, to hopefully transplant some of these into the garden bed if it's not too cool. If it's not that. too cool, we'll keep an eye on the weather and see how it goes. Okay. All right. We'll see you next week. Thank you. It might be a little too cool to be doing some of those plants right about now, but if you have any comments or if you have any questions for the experts, and they are the experts, I'll promise you, at Garden IQ and Johnson. You can text them to us now. We get those questions to them and then we'll get the answers back to you. It's 479-785-5000. It's 479-785-5000.